Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we're answering the question, how does a microwave work? These days, most of us own a microwave oven. From reheating leftovers to making the dreaded ready meal, they're a pretty common piece of kitchen kit. But how do they actually cook things? Microwave ovens heat up food using microwaves, which are one type of electromagnetic radiation, like X-rays, radio waves and the visible light that we can see. The heating power of microwaves was first discovered accidentally during the Second World War. One day, an American engineer called Percy Spencer was working on a unit for producing high-intensity microwaves for use in radar when he noticed that the chocolate bar in his pocket began to melt. Ew. Intrigued, he placed popcorn kernels near the microwave-producing unit, known as a magnetron tube, and was rewarded with a flurry of pops. Another experiment involving an egg was a bit more messy. But this is what gave Spencer the idea of what microwaves could do in the kitchen. So how does a magnetron like the one Spencer was using produce microwaves? The first magnetron was developed in the UK in 1940. It's made up of a copper tube with a copper rod running down the centre and a vacuum between the two. A high voltage is applied across the two conductors which causes electrons to move through the vacuum from the rod to the tube but they don't move in a straight line. The tube is also held in a magnetic field, and this applies a force to the electrons, which makes them spiral outwards. As the electrons spin out like this, they pass small openings in the sides of the tube. The electrons in the cavities behave like air in a bottle when you make a note by blowing across the top. In the bottle, the air vibrates in and out of the bottle opening, creating sound. The electrons spiralling past the cavities of the magnetron are a bit like you blowing across the top of the bottle. They make the electrons in the cavities vibrate in and out, producing microwaves. This is a similar way to how a mobile phone aerial works. When you have a rapidly changing voltage in the wire that forms the aerial, the wire produces electromagnetic radiation that allows you to communicate. The microwaves produced are then tapped off from one of the cavities. In a radar device, they're fed to the antenna for transmission, and in a microwave oven, they're directed into the oven interior to cook the food. After the discovery that microwaves could be used to heat up food, Raytheon, the company Spencer had been working for, tried to market microwaves for home use. Unfortunately, these early microwave ovens were far too large and expensive for practical use in the home, and it wasn't until the mid-1960s that a domestic-sized oven was finally made. But why should blasting something with microwave radiation cause it to heat up? The answer lies in the particular wavelength of the microwaves that are used for this purpose. Waves of this length and frequency are very well absorbed by water, fats and sugars, basically the main constituents of food. When these molecules absorb the microwaves, they get all excited, which makes them jiggle about and heat up. This happens to all the molecules at once in the outer couple of centimetres of the food, which is why heating something up in a microwave is so much quicker than using a conventional oven, where the heat from the oven space only heats the outer couple of millimetres before being conveyed through the food by the process of thermal conduction. But a question often asked is, are microwaves dangerous? Other types of electromagnetic radiation, like gamma rays and X-rays, can be harmful to our health. So what about microwaves? Well, thankfully, the microwaves used in a microwave oven are a type of non-ionising radiation, which means they pose no risk of damaging tissues and causing cancer like gamma or X-rays would. But, just as they heat up food, if you got too close, you could get burnt which is why all microwaves have the metal mesh on the door to prevent the microwaves from escaping and a safety switch to shut off the microwave supply when the door is opened. Happy eating! That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye!